A lot of people have used my Next.js starter kit to build or launch something awesome. And seeing how much reception it's been getting, over 1,500 GitHub stars, I decided to make it better, to make it faster. From the first time I launched it to now, I've learned a lot, and I wanted to implement those changes into my brand new starter kit, which you can find for free at nextstarter.xyz. I tweeted about it the other day, and it's got a lot of reception. A lot of people are excited. And I used different technologies this time. Next.js, as always, this, you know, we're always going to stick with next tailwind and shatsy and convex for the back end this time clerk for authentication polar for payments no longer using stripe polar for payments and then i have an ai chat playground built with vercel's ai sdk this video i'm going to help you set up this starter kit it's very powerful it's very fast you're going to enjoy it so without further ado let me give you a quick demo i am going to sign out let me just sign out so i can show you the auth flow Nice little landing page with some animations. Of course, we have dark mode. You know the vibes. And then I'm going to click on dashboard. It's going to tell me that I need to choose a plan. Let's go for the pro plan. I need to sign up. So I'm just going to authenticate. And then I'm going to go again to get started. It's going to take me back to this page. I click on GoPro. And I'm taken to my Polar checkout, which is much cleaner, by the way. So I'm going to enter my name, what country, province. And then I'm going to subscribe. And my subscription has been successful. I'm going to click on access dashboard. I now have access to my dashboard. So I can see some cool things like my user information, my subscription amount, when my next billing happens, auto renew, all that stuff. And then I just have some uh, UI, some empty UI that you can use, play around. Um, all that is, you know, up to your decision. And again, light mode and dark mode. And then if I click on manage subscription, I can unsubscribe, right? And then I can say this is missing a feature and then I could click cancel subscription. So now it's active, but there's a cancel date. And the way I'm going to know if we're, if all this information is stored correctly, I'm going to go to my database and then I'm going to show you here when I go to data, when I go to my subscriptions table, I just subscribed. So this should be me. Remember I said missing features right here. There it is. It's filled up and it even shows here that my current period ends the next month on the 8th. Starter kit is production ready and I wanna show you when I cancel, when someone's uh, subscription cancels, cause this one's going to be canceled by the at the end of the month. But if I were to say cancel this, and then I go back to the starter kit and I refresh, you notice that I lose access to the dashboard, right? Because we do some checks to make sure that only paid and subscribed users and authenticated users have access to the dashboard. And then the AI pl playground is pretty cool. To use DeepC chat, I'll say, what's up? And DeepC is a little slow nowadays because a lot of people are using it, but you see it responds, very polite, light mode as well. So all this you have access to, the GitHub URL is down below in the description. Hit the like if you're ready to set it up. Let's get started. So first things first, what you're going to do is you're going to unzip, download the code base, unzip it, upload it to your IDE of choice. I'm going to be using Windsor. There's also three services that we're going to have to sign up for. Polar.sh for payments, Convex for our backend, and Clerk for our authentication. Real quick, I just want to say thank you, Convex, for sponsoring this video. This starter kit would not be possible if it weren't for Convex. This video would not be possible for if it weren't for Convex. The product is so amazing. It really is the reason why this starter kit is production ready. If there was one DB I had to pick and it wasn't Postgres, I would 100% go with Convex all the time. So thank you so much, Convex. If you want to sign up for it, click the link in the description. All right, so let's set up our code base so first things first you're going to use bun and you're just going to install all the packages i have done that and then you're going to do bun run dev and then i want you to go to your browser go to localhost 3000 and then you're going to see it's going to tell you that you need a couple of api keys so first things first let's set up our clerk account so you can go to clerk.com create a new project so we're going to call this next starter youtube we'll just have email and google for now and we already have all the packages installed. All we need is our .env. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to create a new file here, .env.local. And we're going to paste that. Perfect. So that's pretty much all we need from Clerk for now. Uh, we're going to need to set up our convex. Be sure to click the link in the description. And then you're going to click on Get Started. What's actually cool is from the terminal, I can create um, a, next, a new convex 
uh, project. All I have to do is npx convex dev. And it's going to ask me, do I want to create a new project? I'll say yes. We'll call this next starter YouTube. It's going to create our new project. It's going to uh, place our end variables perfectly there. And it's going to run our convex backend, which is perfect. We have an environment variable missing. We'll set that up in a second, but I just want to show you next starter YouTube has been set up. Now, I want to go back to clerk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, JWT or JWT, uh, JWT templates. I'm going to click on new template and then I'm going to click on convex. And basically I'm going to copy this issuer right here. I'm going to go to, to my convex dashboard. I'm going to go to environment variables and there are certain environment variables I'm going to add in my convex dashboard because convex is my backend. This is the backend as a service that I'll be using. And there's a few environment variables I need. The first one is this signing key and it's going to be named like this clerk signing key so that's the first one second is the front end url we won't paste anything there for now and the third is going to be our polar but we haven't created the account yet so we're just going to save this so we have our clerk partially set up we have convex partially set up now let's go to polar.sh you're just going to create an account login i'm going to log in because i already have an account and then what you're going to do is create an organization. I'll create a new one. I'll call this YouTube and then I'll create. I'm at sandbox.polar.sh. Basically, this is the test version, right? We don't want to actually spend real money testing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to copy organization identifier. I'm just going to copy this for now right here, org ID, and we'll just do that. And then what I also want is I want uh, an access token. And I'm basically just going to give this access token access to everything. You can set an expiration date. I'm just going to set uh, no expiration date. I'll call this YouTube. And then I'll copy this polar access token. And I'm going to go to convex. And I'm going to say polar access token. And I'm going to click save. So I'm going to be setting up ngrok to expose our local host to the internet. And we're going to see... This is going to, so this essentially now becomes our front end URL. If I open this and I bring this to this browser over here, you're going to see that it exposes my local host uh, online. So I'm going to use this in testing. I'm going to use this to be my front end URL. And then when it's time for production, I'll actually put my production URL. And if you are familiar with, with ngrok, you could literally just Google it, go through the site, through the docs, and you can set it up. And basically what it does is it exposes your local host to the internet so you can use it in testing. Now in terms of setup, everything looks good, but the one thing that's left is that we actually have to create the product that we want to sell on Polar. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on new product and then I'm just going to call this test YouTube subscription. Um, it's going to be a subscription of $12. It'll be a fixed price. We'll add a yearly pricing of $100 and we won't, um, there isn't any automated benefits. So I'm just going to click on create product. And then what's awesome is when I click on share, actually, no, these are the links. When I click on these three dots, I get the price ID monthly price ID yearly. So what I want you to do is I want us to go to convex and then I want us to go to data and we see some tables already created for us, the user table, subscription table, plans table, and the webhook events. In the plans table, we're going to fill out this table with uh, the plans that we want to sell, the subscription plans we want to sell. I'm going to click on add document and then this is basically the schema of the document. So we're going to need the description, the key, the name, the polar product ID and the prices. So I'm going to paste this right here and you can uh, pause this and then type this out. So basically I have description. This is a test project key pro as in like this is a pro subscription. Like this is like, you know, payment, not free. I think I have it. At, you can have it as free as well if you want. I named it test subscription. Now the polar product ID, I go back here and then I click share. And then this right here. If I click on this, that is the product ID. So I go here and I paste this. So this is the product ID. Perfect. And then now I need the monthly polar ID and the yearly polar ID. And I showed you that earlier. We're just going to go back here, click here. I'm going to copy the price ID for the monthly. 
paste that right here and then the price id for the yearly paste that right here so now i click save i have my plan i have my subscription so if i want to add another one i just add another one you can have as many as you want now all this setup we are pretty much ready to test so let's give it a go i'm going to click on sign in and we're going to do um let's do with google i'm going to sign with my personal email one thing i forgot to do guys you go back to clerk and you gotta click save i did not save you should click save so going back to our local host let's do a refresh and we are going to test sign in again so i'm just going to sign in with my personal account i am signed in and then if we go to clerk and we click on users we see user information if we go to our convex table and i click on users i see my users table is populated now what we're going to do is we're going to test going to the dashboard page and it won't let me and the reason being is I'm not subscribed. I'm not paying. So I'm going to click on Get Pro. We enter the test credit card. That's the 424242, by the way. I'm just going to enter my name, Canada, Ontario. And then we are just going to subscribe. So hopefully this registers into our Convex DB and it gives us access to our dashboard. If it does, okay, perfect. We're just going to go back to localhost. I I killed the ngrok server, that's why I got an error. But if we go back and we click on dashboard, we're still not getting access. So let's check on let's check on subscriptions. I don't see anything. Let's check on webhooks. I don't see anything. And I think I realized why, because if we go to settings and webhooks, and we need to set up a webhook. And reason being is we need Polar to tell Convex when people have paid. And Convex will communicate to our Next.js project that the user has paid. Therefore, they can get access to the dashboard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to Polar. I'm going to click Add Endpoint. And basically, the endpoint is going to be this. I'm going to take you to our Convex folder we're going to go to https the endpoint is slash payment slash webhook right so i'm going to paste that here and then i'm going to go to convex and basically the url is in development url this is the url we have to copy so we're copying that so it's going to be this url slash payment slash webhook we're going to have it in a raw format we want to select all of these let's just select all of them once you selected all of them click on generate you copy this secret right here and click create then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your convex you're going to go to your environment variables we're going to do polar webhook secret we're going to click save and then we're going to try paying again so what we're going to do is i'm going to go to my poor uh, polar uh project we're going to go to customer that's me right there. What I want to do is I want to cancel this active subscription. We're just going to cancel this immediately just so we can test payments again. So I'm going to refresh. We're going to click Get Pro. We entered our fake credit card credentials. I'm going to enter my name, Canada, Ontario, and then we're going to hit subscribe. And let's see this time if we have access to the dashboard. And we do. I have access to the dashboard page, which means if I check on clerk and I go to data, and I click on subscriptions, I see the subscription table full. It has been filled up. I see web hook events. And best of all, I see that I have gotten paid. So now you have the starter kit set up. Now, the only thing that's left is you need to set up an OpenAI API key, DeepSeek API key, and a Grok API key. And what that's going to allow you to do is that's going to allow you to use the AI playground. I just added my keys. We're going to go to AI Playground. I'm going to click here. And then I'm going to, to the let's do GPT-40. I'm going to say, hi, friend. And we are going to see beautiful, clean chat. And let's do uh, Deep Seek Chat Wagwan. And we are going to, hopefully, it's going to think about it and respond. Wagwan is casually greeting derived in Jamaican Pato. So it works perfectly. Now that you have my Next.js starter kit set up, there's a couple things I want to break down to you and just high level uh, things. So in the app router, in the pages uh, route group, you have all your different pages, right? And then in the API, you have the chat API. This is for the AI uh, playground. 
You also have your configs folder where there are a bunch of files here. You have the user queries and mutations. You have subscriptions. Like this is how the, ch the checkout is created, how you get the plans, how you create uh, the onboarding checkout URL. This is how you get subscription status. This is how you get a user subscription, the subscription webhook. All the code is here for you. So I highly suggest download the code, set it up, and you will be able to build your dream SaaS very easily. That is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have my starter kit set up. Now, go build something awesome. If you want a more in-depth video on how I had the starter kit set up, how I wrote the code and all that stuff, let me know in the description down below. Also, make sure to check out Convex. They're the reason why this video and the starter kit is possible. I hope you enjoy. I hope you build. Make sure to tag me on X, what you build with the starter kit. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.